Today we're going to Hollywood Studios, try to get a boarding pass, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Toy Story Land, Galaxy's Edge. You know, everything that's in Hollywood Studios. Yeah, the basic stuff. <laughs> Let's go do it. Just want to show you guys what the parking lot's looking like out here in the resort. It's fairly empty. Damn, guys. We really just realized that our hotel offers Skyliners to Hollywood Studios and we were going to take it and yesterday we actually talked about it and we just completely forgot so we're driving Sad, I kind of forgot they even existed honestly <laughs> I'm so used to like classic Disney yeah just like driving man I really wanted to do it though maybe we'll take it tonight take it back tonight maybe we'll leave a little bit earlier and come back to the hotel and take it back just to do it you know So we just got here and it's like 100 degrees outside. Yeah. Wow, it's very hot, very sunny. I mean, honestly though, not as hot as it was yesterday. I feel like Magic Kingdom was way worse. Well, we, we just got here, so. I don't know. You know? <laughs> so yeah, the parking lot is really empty, guys. It's, it's insanely empty. It's pretty sad. What's today's day? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, August 12th. Yeah. August 12th. Um, bright and sunny day blue skies only thing holding us back is COVID, but nothing could stop us now oh gosh wrong one all right so we're in the park i got myself this awesome hat to protect myself from the sun and i have nothing to protect myself from. <laughs> I, told, I told you to get one she didn't want one so you're missing out man you're lost so uh, we're gonna head to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, show you guys the Chinese theater. Let's have some fun, guys. So it was a 55 minute wait for Mickey and Minnie's. Um, we're actually just gonna head to Toy Story Land, ride some of the stuff there and come back later, probably like around five or six, wait until it cools down, cause I hate those lines that you have to wait outside at. Uh, Slinky Dog is gonna be the same thing, but hopefully it's faster. Oh look, they have one man's dream playing right here. All right guys, so I'm gonna get some coffee cause I'm very tired, so quick coffee run. Just a little life hack right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so... I was very tired. I was kind of like falling asleep. We went to go watch One Man's Dream. We didn't vlog it, but I got really tired watching One, One Man's Dream. Uh, we did a quick jaw freeze run. I had a double espresso shot. She had an iced coffee. Um, we're gonna walk to Toy Story Land now, ride Slinky Dog, try to pick up our energy a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Also, um, if you guys didn't know, you can get boarding passes for, for Rise of the Resistance at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. So right at 2, we were like, oh my gosh, we forgot to get our boarding passes. So right at 2 p.m. They were the out. App. They were out in 30 seconds. That's it. Like gone. Gone like that. All right, guys. So we are walking into Toy Story Land right now. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Slinky Dog Dash. Woohoo! Jesse is here for you. Thank you for visiting us today. Just a few reminders. Please wear a face covering at all times, except when you are drinking while stationary. So it's about a 35 minute wait. Can't see it, but yeah, it's 35 minutes. We're just gonna wait it out. When do you ever see that? That was 
super fun. We waited about like 20 minutes when they said it would be like 40, 30, 40 35. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 20 minutes for Slinky Dog? Come on, man. I'm probably gonna go back on it in a little bit. Right. Uh, we're gonna go on Toy Story Mania now. Um, I'll probably record you like doing everything on yeah. Toy Story Mania. I love, I love these Toy Story shooting type games. They're yeah. really fun. Lewis is a huge gamer. So like whenever we go on these type of rides, I just like let him do his thing. Yeah, I kind of just game I'm it out a for gamer. a little bit. <laughs> 15 minute wait. Thanks guys. Honestly, Disney's gonna be really different once the whole COVID thing ends. Disney's gonna go back to being packed. So we gotta take advantage of these days. Because yeah. you could just re-ride everything, keep riding everything, and do the whole park three times in one day. Come on. Guys, if we're being completely honest, we're telling you this from like the bottom of our the bottom of our hearts. I think it's so worth it to come to Disney right now. And I feel like all of you should come. Don't be afraid of COVID. Keep your social distance, take precautions, but come to Disney. I don't think Disney's ever gonna be like this again if you don't enjoy it right now at the very moment. So exactly. come to Disney. Take advantage of this. Uh, I guess uh, Mr. Potato Head is off duty right now. Pretty sad. Let me see if I could sneak a shot. Can I? Nope, they got it covered up. Can't sneak a shot. I tried. So every time I ride this ride, you can't tell, but I always end up getting a blister on my finger because of this rope right here. Can anyone yeah. relate? Can anyone relate or is that just me? Yeah. Hello. Thank you. So every time I ride this ride, you can't tell, but I always end up getting a blister on my finger because of this rope right here. Can anyone yeah. relate? Can anyone relate or is that just me? Yeah. Does this gift shop at the end of uh, Toy Story Mania just look really awkward? I don't know. I just like, um, I don't think they thought it through correctly, but maybe that, I don't know. Like, look, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Let's walk in. Hello, thank you. Cool, thanks. But yeah, it just it feels like the most awkward gift shop ever. I don't know why. It just it feels like one of those like pop up gift shops, like not yeah. an actual like gift shop where like it stays here. I feel like we're like at a daycare. Maybe that's what they were. Yeah, maybe that's what, yeah, maybe that's the vibe that they were going for. Yeah. Wow, look at this Pizza Planet Spirit jersey. It's actually super cute. Look at that. I like it. Very cool. I'm actually wearing a Pizza Planet shirt right now. Pizza Planet. I'm actually, I'm wearing the Splash Mountain shirt that I got yesterday. Yeah, the last shirt they had for sale. <laughs> the kid shirt. The kid shirt, but oh. if it's Jessica, because she is a child. Just kidding. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I have been chosen. Oh. <laughs> to the other side. Look, we found more of the wishable, collectible little play toys, plush Squishy. toys. Plush, plush toy. So these look wishables. Pretty cool, yeah. Look, they're they're pretty, so cute. They are really cute. Look at Sully. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, if you guys want to collect them, it's a it's a good collection to me. I'd rather collect these. Yeah, because we already have. Yeah, we're so pin many. we're pin traders, man. So I guess they already started like removing plants and trees from the from this area here for Round of Rodeo. I'm pretty excited for it. Here's some of the artwork of what it's gonna look like. Man, I'm looking forward to this place. It's gonna be really sick. Look at that, God, yeah. <laughs> look, look at this guy, he's just like a cowboy. That's really nice. This That's, is gonna be so cute. It's gonna be epic. Epic. What? It's epic. All right, so we just got off of Toy Story Mania. Uh, we're gonna head to Mickey and Minnie's and see what the wait time is. If it's too long, we're just gonna go to Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so it says 45 minutes. Honestly, we're just gonna wait it out. Might yeah, as well. I don't think it's gonna be 45 minutes, but okay. Yeah, this place just like, I'm pretty sure the wait time just went up like 10 minutes right now before our eyes. Thank God we got on this yeah, right now. We literally started over there, like right over there. We started like right over, over here, and now it's over here. It's crazy. 
Shout out to Billy Joel. You're the man, dude. Uh, it just started raining right when we got here. So is there a pre-show or is there not a pre-show? I don't understand. Thank you. I love this little tribute of Walt at the exit. And I also love this. Look at this. It's like the back side of the screen. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. My ears broke. Oh, rest in peace. My ears broke. They were, they were like on the verge of breaking them, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not as sturdy as like real Disney ones. So that was awesome. Thank you, Minnie and Mickey, for a great show. So we just got off of Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. Uh, we're actually gonna go to either Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster now. We're gonna see whatever's shortest. Uh, let's go check it out, yeah? Yeah. So sad about my mini ears. Oh my gosh. Yeah, rest in peace. We could actually probably fix them. Just some super glue and or hot glue will do the trick. Yeah. discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Oh guys, that was such a blast. That was so fun. I think it's time for Rock and Roller Coaster now. What do you say? Please. Okay, we have a story, but later. Thirty minutes. That's perfect. Oh, look at that view, though. I guess this bird wants to ride too. All right, never mind. This line is moving fast. Okay, so, story time. Sorry, I'm gonna take over for a little bit. Okay, so I hope you guys can hear me. So the last time I went on this ride was about like a year ago. Yeah. It was about a year ago. Only because the last time I went on this ride, I guess like the, that first like shot out of the three, two, one, where it just shoots you out. I knocked out. Yeah, like you passed out on it. Like I passed out completely. Like I guess it was so strong for me, and I wasn't ready to rock and roll. <laughs> and I just like my head hit the side, and I just like yeah, I freaked out. I was out. like, what? Yeah. So he didn't want me to go on the ride for a long time, and I told him I was fine. But I'm so excited to get back on it. Like I I'm hope honestly, I don't pass I'm, out. I'm nervous for her, honestly. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't think I'm going to pass out this time. I think it was just a one, one time thing, but yeah, just in case. Good story, good story. Just in case, guys, be ready for that like takeoff because sometimes... It's like, it's like zero to 80 in like two seconds. Yeah, sometimes like you're not ready for it and you got to be ready for it. <laughs> G-Force Records. That was amazing guys. I'm crying right now.
Me that too. was incredible. We're gonna we're, <laughs> we're, we're gonna actually go on it around two, so let's do it. Let's we'll talk to you guys after. Rock on. I love this hallway right here at the end of the ride. It's real nice with the brick walls and these pretty signs of the guitars and the drums and all the different instruments. Real sweet. At the end of it, you could actually see a a frame with, with the whole band's autographs. Pretty sweet. And look, there's they're actually standing on the guitar in the entrance. Real cool, I love that. Honestly, we could just keep riding this the rest of the day and we'll keep getting right on. That's crazy, guys. Look at this, look at this. Insane. Oh, and FYI, Jessica did not pass out this time, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and just like that, a wave of people just came in. Guess we made it right on time, huh? All right, so we did rock and roller coaster back to back twice. Jessica almost passed out the second time. Uh, my head is literally bleeding. But man, we had a blast. I kind of want to do it a third time. Let's see. No, 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 no. All right, so I'm actually just hanging out right now. Just got myself a cold water. Got one for Jessica too, because she felt really nauseous after the second ride on rock and roller coaster. So she's in the bathroom. Let's see what happens. She's all right, guys. She's alive. She's good. Thank goodness gracious. Thank God. <laughs> why Why does my ride always make me feel some type of way though? Right, she passed out the first time. And then today we rode it once and she was good. And then the second time, I'm pretty sure she knocked out the second time. Cause I was trying, I was yelling. I heard her yell. She I was like, she was like, ah. <laughs> I and I was like, Jessica, Jessica. And she was out. like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Oh my God. I didn't knock out the second time. I was just like, my head kept like spinning on that ride. I was just like, uh. No, I know what you mean. And then like right after like I got off of it, like I just felt like crap. I mean, I was okay. I'm just tired, but uh, I'm still excited to go have some more fun. It's 6.30 right now. Wait, what time is it? 6.41. 6.41 actually. And uh, we still have about an hour and 20 minutes to enjoy the park. So let's go do that, yeah? Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna go ride Millennium Falcon. And uh, most probably call it a day, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Fight this way, my friends. Come closer, come closer. <laughs> ah, a brand new flight crew. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order trading shipment of coaxium. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are pulled that precious cargo. Now get the move on and know that I have to complete. Thank you. For your safety, remain seated and supervise young ladies. For favor. All right, babe, don't mess us up this time. Well, we kind of lag there. That's it. A bundle of pilots. Line up behind the train so we can harpoon that. That was so fun. Jessica stinks at video games. Whatever. And she doesn't know her up and down, but it's all right. We'll get her next time, right, babe? <laughs> Alright, so we just got off of Millennium Falcon and uh, we got 15 minutes left until the park closes. We're gonna hit one more ride and hang out a little bit. So yeah, the park's already dying out. Looks like everyone's leaving already. Pretty sad. I wish I could stay till 10. Wow, guys. We're out of breath. We're almost there. We're literally running here. We have like seven minutes left. What time is it? Oh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Let's go. Two. Thank you. This is so strange. I'm not used to this. <laughs> wow guys, that was so fun. I'm so happy we ended it with this great ride. It's officially closed. No? Oh, I'm so sorry.
<laughs> it's honestly so weird leaving the park so early like this. I'm just so used to staying to like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. or just doing the after hours event. It's so strange, you know? Like the sun's not even completely down yet. The sun, the sun hasn't set completely yet. It's crazy. Today was long, hot, rainy, fun. I had a very great time, what about you? Oh, I had an awesome time too. I mean, it felt so, so good to be back and to be quite honest with you, it felt a lot better than yesterday, heat-wise. So it was just a better day. I mean, honestly, each day had. Each day has its perks. Each day here in Disney, whoa, it's getting dark. Each day here out here in Disney is different. It always, every day has a new thing to offer. Um, Honestly, Disney's the place to be, guys. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed today. I enjoyed yesterday. I enjoyed Monday. And I can't wait to come back soon. And we can't wait to finish our trip at Epcot. So stay tuned for that. And I guess we'll be ending our night with a really nice view of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Well, it's all right because it's very bright. It kind of messes with my lighting, but at least you got a nice view of the Chinese theater. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, all right? Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.